You can open this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Literally opening up. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Get the Two Ashes. Woo! Uh, so how's that book there you're reading? Ah, uh, yeah, it's uh, good. Yes, yeah, episode two. <laughs> uh, are the words dis are the words appearing as he is watching? It's like some never-ending story cred. Okay, so to explain so you're not completely lost, <laughs> this man over here said I should open up this time, so I opened up. <laughs> not open up, just open. Uh... Opening up, that's how you talk about your emotions. <laughs> Might come out of the class. That I... can mean many things, sir. Donald. <laughs> uh... That can mean many things. You, you could secretly... Like ice cream, be in the closet about ice cream. Also, fun fact, this is the first recording session where uh, Ash over here is wearing glasses. Yes, it's one of the first times outside of school I've worn glasses as well. Yeah. I just, I was wearing them at school and I was like, wait a minute, legally I need to win the drive, so I don't really yeah. Just once I do legally drive it. Ah! <laughs> don't listen to that. Please, please, please. Nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing, nothing, I don't drive out my glasses, so it's all good. Uh, oh no, it's bugs. Guilty as garged. Anyway. I swear to you, drunk I'm not god. Ah, <laughs> uh, speaking of that, um, freaking. okay, so do you guys, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, like, the weird E3 guy. I might slap a clip right here. <laughs> yeah, Diablo. I, I played Diablo 3 last night. It was awesome. It was super fun. Well, I only play in hardcore mode when protecting the Black Soul Stone, so wouldn't really call it super fun as much as it is the most intense thing of all time. I don't know. What's your favorite part about gaming? I don't know. I guess just, I guess like the escape. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I, I can definitely see that, you know, just kind of a break from reality for a little bit, you know, travel to distant lands, definitely. Yeah, it's just like going to other worlds, you know, like, like other dimensions where you aren't rejected all the time. I don't know. I don't know, like, other worlds where your dad still sees you as his own. Maybe I'm not Mark who works at Arby's. Maybe I'm Onyx the Fortuitous, Slayer of the Bright Realm. I don't know. It's great to get out here, meet other gamers, connect with people that you share Because comments. it's like I fear death, but also I long for it. Always a few random creepers. I mean, there are a few people who kind of, you know, lurk, but don't say much, and then all of a sudden they're back there again, and then you see them again. Just... yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. He's, you know, he's got his hat. I like his hat. <laughs> Onyx. Dude, he is like my favorite thing ever now. What, what was it? Onyx the... Like... Ah... Oh, God. It was just too Onyx funny. Onyx sure. Like... Man. I was gonna like try and learn how to quote him. Just It was just too <laughs> funny. Some of those like things that he just says going like... I... Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, um... I fear death, but I also want it. Or something like that. Ah. Interesting so. Maybe he's not uh, active. Maybe that's him. Uh, I, I'm thinking he probably is. Just because he sent, like, a real thing to, like, these other people. And, like, I don't know. It, it reminds me. He reminds me of someone straight out of Malcolm in the Middle. Like, straight out of Malcolm in the Middle. Like, you... You... You see that, don't you? Well, like you go base this character on someone. Yeah, someone. like. <laughs> but no, like, really, like, as crazy as a lot of those characters in Mountain in the Middle are, like, he would not be out of place. Yeah, exactly, man. The base of him. Also a good show. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. Yes, no. We're not gonna do that right now. Gotta start it. Where are you? There we are. No. Oh maybe. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Can you repeat the frick? I know why. Why it's like he's from down in the middle. Cause he keeps saying I don't know. Ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. See, like, yeah, you know, he had like these really random catchphrases too. Like almost like it was weird. Why don't you just get this? Spider. Okay, this is something that, yeah, that, that was introduced in Metroid 2 and wasn't brought back until Prime. So, 
There yeah. we go! Okay, it's annoying in this one because I usually love the PlayStation D-pad, but it is a little sensitive when you're trying to go, like, re do, like, really tight inputs. Um, I'm just a little bit sensitive. Was that a good idea? No. Perfectly good idea. Anyway. Well, that's wrong, so... Why? Why? See? I did it. How was that? How was that any better than just <laughs> I did it. You did Actually, it. Actually, I could have done it right if I didn't screw it up. And I screwed it up, so. It would have worked if it did not work. Uh, I could have drunk driven if I didn't kill someone. <laughs> I would have gone away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. Uh, I could go up or I could go down. And by meddling kids, I mean kids that won't drive me while I'm drunk driving. No. <laughs> uh, let's just go onward. That's onward. where it wants us to go, might as well. Um, Do it at once. The power is free. Yeah. No, um, this game really does have a lot of, like, mixed power-ups from, like, both the original Metroid and, like, this, which is, like, Metroid 2 Remake. So... This is a remake of another Metroid 2 Another Metroid 1 remake, Metroid 2 remake, and Metroid 1 remake. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty cool guy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's a brain. I don't know. <laughs> it's got an eye. Look how adorable uh, it looks. Yeah. Looks less adorable now. Yeah. So, no fear. Um, there was a Metroid manga, and it actually did explain some things, and it was actually at least supervised by the guy who made the Metroid games, which is why Other M has some out of nowhere ideas. I, I, I'll be honest, when you see it, that I, for some reason I thought Metroid is very I no, I was not even official. Oh yeah, yeah, I understood that, but my initial thought was that... I, I don't blame you. Yeah, and I was like, you know what? <laughs> I like three sex in the Ah, yes, that's right. So, so it's funny, when uh, Ash came over today, uh, we were originally going to uh, record um, the trilogy version of Metroid Prime. And um, then, what I ended up... Uh, yesterday, I was talking with Blaze, and I just had this epiphany to draw Ash in the Zero Suit just for laughs. And... I don't want to do that, but alright. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was just, I don't know, it'd be funny, is what I figured. And, uh... <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I, I can't really salvage that one, but whatever. Okay. Um, so... Then I was going, but wait, that wouldn't make sense for Prime, because she doesn't have that suit in Prime. She's naked. Anyway, no! <laughs> People would want that. Maybe she's naked. Do we, do we know? Um... Is there only one way to find out? <laughs> um, in Prime... Ask her very can. kindly. Don't be a creep about it. I'm done. <laughs> do it. Well, no. that's strange mushroom. Um... In Prime, um, you wouldn't know, but in, uh, the 2D Metro games, whenever she does die, it does explode. Oh, she become, yeah. 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 So. Is the water gonna kill you? No, oh, no, okay. I just am incredibly sluggish in it. Okay. I need a gravity suit to be able to move well in it. That also is a thing in Metro 2 Remake, because it makes sense. Because Metroid 2 is just another remake. But the thing is with Metroid 2, the original though, um, the gravity suit wasn't invented yet, so that rule actually didn't apply in Metroid 2. So... Gravity doesn't exist until you <laughs> Well, the gravity suit, whatever. It'll make sense! <laughs> Whoa, what the... Uh, how did you just... Okay, so we got an item that is incompatible with our suit. Right. Um, but... It lets you destroy um, it. Yeah, it lets me destroy blocks the light up after I take it. There we go. Oop. Yes. I, I'm not entirely sure how that actually works, but yeah, so it does serve two functions, so at least one of them is compatible with me. The science behind it is questionable. To be fair, they explained it in Prime that the Chojo... The, 
Chojo. 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 Uh, the Chozo have this really bizarre technology that is actually a fusion of science and magic, if that actually made any sense. It's like magic, but it's also like science. With the power of science! Science! I love doing that. Thank you. The Dr. Insano voice. Power group. Okay, so now I can grab ledges. You couldn't do that before? No. Nope. You weak. Oh my god. Uh, ah, that's very funny. Climb. Secondary tools. Climb it. Power grip. Actually, I am saving time there. Oh. Because I knew those were gonna show up. Yes. Okay. I, I knew it too. I was testing you. Okay. So, boop. My doubt was a test. Well, partly why I know this game really well, I think, is just because of how short this game is. Like, guys, it's not gonna take that long for me to beat this. Like, at all. It's pretty much... The original game was not that long, but they compensated it by making it ludicrously difficult. Metroid 1. Mm, yeah. Um, so... Essentially, all you had to do to beat Metroid 1 is you had to kill Ridley and Kraid, and then Mother Brain. That's it. Um, that still applies here, except there is one extra thing. But aside from that, yes, that is all you have to do to beat this game. We should at some point die so you can see me. <laughs> Maybe. That'll be harder to do as I go on. I am getting more so powerful. easy. It's so hard to die. <laughs> this is the easiest Metro game. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if you die. I mean, some like what was it? A uh, some called it Johnny. He said uh, Prime Three was. I think it's this game. At the very least, it's the easiest 2D Metroid. Yeah, them 2D games gonna make it difficult, man. No, Metroid 1 is not even fun to play. Like, that is one of those things where it's like, I have to save state every two seconds if I want to maintain my sanity with that one. Yeah. Like, it isn't fair difficult, it's just difficult. I've tried playing it once before. Yeah. About. What about the original Zelda? That was a fun game. Oh, the original Zelda actually, once you know your way around it, isn't that bad. Really? Yeah. I just Add Zelda 2! Wow, that's... I'm saying in difficulty, I found Zelda 1. Because, okay, um, so Zelda 1, yeah, it, it is definitely pretty difficult. Its biggest problem is this. It is, like, the complete loss of hand-holding. It does <laughs> not tell you anything. It's like, yeah, take this. It's like, okay, but what? Uh, okay. Yeah, you gotta find where all the dungeons are. You gotta find where other things are. And some of the dungeons have really strangely chosen places to hide them in. Like, you have to burn down a random tree in the forest for one of the dungeons. Yeah. I just couldn't. Um, but that said, crypticness does not actually equate to difficulty, per se. Was it cryptic, or was it just It was luck. cryptic. It was cryptic. Was it, like, was he somewhere looking it out, or was it just luck? Or random guess? Um, well, Okay, fine. Zelda 2 has more of the crypticness going on. Mm -hmm. But in contrast, okay. I find Metroid 1 way more tolerable than Zelda 2, and there's one huge, huge reason for that. Um, you have an actually good ranged weapon. Link just has this tiny little sword that he just goes like, dink, dink, dink the entire time. And so it's just like, you have to get up close and personal with everything you want to hit, and it just does not play well. It's just gosh darn awful if I have to say so. So, um... So what you're saying is prefer guns to swords? If we're talking... Well, you see, so point being, Zelda 2 is designed like a side-scrolling shooter when it's more like, you know... How about combat. we just don't make war? <laughs> friends, so. uh, I, yeah. so, some truth here. <laughs> I'd say make love, not war, but I don't want to suggest making love. <laughs> mm, fanfic. Fanfic. There's enough fanfiction, there's only one fanfiction. But that's, the encounter fanfiction is weird. 
Simpsons has. Donald. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Donald. Uh, I appreciate you. A little bit terrified. Ice you? beam. Woo. How many beams are there in this one? Um, I think four or five. So. Well, that was necessary. It was actually. You think it was? Oh. Yep. Yep. Ice. Do you get to choose whether you fire ice or not? Um. Sadly, um, for some reason, the Game Boy Advance ones, um, you can't turn beams off. Huh. Um. That was the thing in the Super Metroid that they brought back into AM2R. Mm -hmm. Um, but hey, at least it's unlimited ammo, unlike certain games. <laughs> yeah, uh, Metroid Prime 2 also has limited ammo like Hunters. Yes. But that's only for, you know, the other beams, mm -hmm. just like Hunters. Uh, that's true. Oh man, I'm already into this. <laughs> Stop, man. Stop, man. It's gone too far. Is that like... Boiled, uh, boiled, oil, deep fry yourself. Mmm, deep fried Samus. <laughs> uh, we'll have to go back. Actually, you know what? You know what's an idea? Oh dear. Yes. We can do four of this because we're not gonna be doing Half Life. There we go. Okay, so you guys are gonna get this instead of Half Life. As weird as that sounds. <laughs> I just live so far away, guys. Yeah. Um. School, you know. It's not that hard. But yes, with school it is harder. We'll work something out eventually, but yeah. it's the second week, you know, we're still yeah. still getting things going. Uh, I think it's about high. That's correct. Boop! <laughs> Run just took it. Boiling hey, oil. Oh yeah, we should end it though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just all focused into the gameplay again because I'd do that. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. See you guys next time after I get up here. Alright. Bye-bye! Bye!